I bought this house for 548,000 US dollars at the age of 22. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it. Let's go. I'll go through how I was able to purchase this property. Then I'll go through the closing docs to run through all the numbers. I signed for this property on July 22nd, 2023. I started saving up in the summer of 2020 when I was 19 years old. I was in college and for two summers, I did summer sales. This is where you go door to door, selling people solar and pest control. And then during the year, I worked at a software company. I started as a marketing intern and now I work on product and AI team. During this time at college, I lived at a place that was roughly $500 a month. I drove a cheap $3,000 car I paid for in cash. I kept my expenses as low as possible and everything else I put into savings. I also had opened up a credit card when I was 18, another one at 20 and another one at 21. Very important is I never held a balance. I treated those credit cards as cash. Over those three years, I was able to build a credit score of about 790 dollars and $110,000 in savings. And I did this all while going to school, still having fun with friends and traveling a bit. Now, I have the finances to do it, how did I find a place to buy? First off, I had looked at the market for roughly 12 months. I did as much research as I could on home buying and the whole process. And I spoke with multiple realtors and lenders to find one that best suited my needs. I actually put offers on three different homes before I finally found one that I ended up purchasing. And you know what the crazy thing is? Even though I did all that research, I still bought a bad property. I made a whole video about why it cost me so much somewhere here that you can check out. That's the whole process I went through to save up the money and finances and then find a home I wanted to purchase, put it on offer and get it accepted. Now let's run through the closing docs so you know exactly what to expect. I purchased the home at $548,000 with a loan amount of 448K. My monthly payment with insurance and escrow is about $3,300. This is something important to know if you're looking at buying a home. You typically can't get it approved for a mortgage unless it's 50% or less of your income. And that 50% includes other types of debt you have. I had zero debt, I had zero other loans or payments, which allowed me to get such a high percentage of my income to go towards this house. Closing costs were $11,000 and cash to close was about 95. There are a ton of fees you're not gonna know about until you go through the process. It sucks to have to pay all that money, but there's no way around it. 3% commission went to both the buyer's and the seller's agent, which left me with a mortgage of $448,000, $3,300 a month, plus utilities to pay every single month. And that's how I got a house when I was 22 years old. Was it worth it? For this property, no. But I'm gonna make a full video on the nuance and the reasons why and what I'm gonna do differently on the next one. If you have any questions, please let me know below because I wanna hear I'll respond to every single person that I can. You're awesome, see ya.